This is a Game Caviar production. All right, not having in the Game Caviar Studios. Uh, early reports are saying that Black Ops 2 is the best Call of Duty ever created. These are just early reports. Game comes out on the 13th next week. I'll be there on a midnight release picking it up. I'll put up a video. My first initial thoughts of the game. But uh, now, I shouldn't have said people. I asked the guy on uh, Twitter. He goes, uh, thanks, Treyarch. You've done it again. And I thought he was being sarcastic, so I asked him, uh, how is the game, basically? He somehow scored an early copy. Uh, he said that it was the best uh, Call of Duty ever created. Well, I mean, that's all in fine. And you could say, how do you know he had an early copy? This is the guy that had an early copy of Modern Warfare 3, and he was actually doing a live stream of Modern Warfare 3. And he did the same thing for Black Ops 2. I haven't seen the stream for Black Ops 2. I've been too distracted to actually look for it. I know he posted it. But then it got taken down on one site for obvious reasons, and he was uh, site hopping. So, this guy's pretty credible. It's not just some some random guy on Twitter. I know this guy. He gets these games early, and he plays them. So, if he says that it's the best Call of Duty ever, I can uh, give his, his words some sort of merit. And... We all have our favorite consensus on what type of, or our favorite opinion or favorite Call of Duty game. I think Call of Duty 4 is by far the best Call of Duty game. World of War was okay. It wasn't anything to write home about, but it wasn't a horrible game. Of course, this game, Black Ops, was, eh. You know, it's so hit or miss with this game. It's like... Some days you'll, you'll be like, man, this game is amazing. And then some days you're like, whatever, I don't want to play this game. <clears throat> I don't want to play this game ever again. It all depends. This game has so many so many issues that it just, it, it has so much potential. And, it, and honestly, it did. This game could have been, this could have been regarded as the best Call of Duty ever created. And a lot of people, some people, I'm not going to say a lot, but some people think that this could truly be the greatest Call of Duty ever created. This, on the other hand, is by far the worst Call of Duty game ever created. This is Modern Warfare 3. I figured I'd put these two together as a last send-off. Uh, I doubt if I'll be playing these games much after Black Ops 2 comes out. I know I definitely will not be playing this game hardly at all after Black Ops 2 comes out. Because um, I really hate this game. This game right here just... This was the nail in the coffin for Infinity Ward for me. Like, I can't trust these guys to make toast, let alone a video game anymore. If I see a video game and it has Infinity Ward's name on it, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just going to avoid it like it's the plague. These guys, they suck now. They, they, they can't make a game. This game was plagued with so many issues from day one. And it's a year later, like literally a year after the game has been released. And nothing has been changed in this game. Absolutely nothing. It is still the same piece of junk that it was when we all bought it last November when it came out. And Infinity Ward still regards itself as a legitimate company and that makes legitimate games. There's so many things wrong with this game that could that that they have just refused to fix. I, I don't know whether they were... I'm starting to get to the point to where these guys just don't know how to fix their own game. But they just too chicken shit to come out and say it. It's cool. You know, people screw up all the time. But please, just have enough balls to say... We really dropped the ball on that one. And we have no idea how to fix it. Ask for outside help. Hell, ask Treyarch. Ask somebody. I I, I don't... I, I just don't understand how these guys... like Like, people... Let me put it into perspective here. This is a video game. This is a product that's mass-produced throughout the world, mostly. or Not mostly, but in America. 
If this had been a, a drug, a medication, and it did not do what it intended to do, and it had a bunch of side effects that were not reported, the, the class action lawsuits would be um, filed, and you would have those commercials that you always see on TV. Uh, so I don't know how they managed to get away with this, but whatever. Black Ops 2 next week. I'll be streaming. I'll be doing videos. Stay tuned. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.